One Direction's former hairstylist just spilled all the tea on the One Direction band and what happened behind the scenes at concerts. Here's everything we know. I'm Zach Weinberg. I'm Gabby Conti, and this is your 24-7 Hollywire Holiday Celebrity News. Lou Teasdale, which is such an appropriate name because girl spilt the tea, used to be the hairstylist for Harry Styles, Liam Payne, Zayn Malik, Niall Horn, and Lewis Tomlinson as she toured with One Direction for years. This beauty guru was just on the podcast Sex, Lies, and DM Slides, which is a great name for a podcast, where she spilled all of that 1D tea. Teasdale told the podcast host that from when she started touring with the band, she learned very quickly not to mix business with pleasure as she said, quote, you can't, you can't sleep with them. It's quite important in keeping your job. Some people would come in like assistants and stuff and think it's love, but it's not. And it's the quickest way to lose your job. Those poor assistants. Those poor assistants, but also how tempting would it be to work for One Direction or even be around them? I mean, they're five very good looking guys. I mean, I don't want to say this, but it feels almost like it's almost like a Me Too category, although I know it yeah. was consensual for sure. But I mean, can you imagine? I mean, if Harry Styles, right, like hit on you and you were an assistant, wouldn't you like risk your job to like? <laughs> she said the reason these assistants who thought they fell in love with the boys would lose their jobs after was because the boys would get girlfriends. The girlfriends would come around and the boys would say, I don't want you in the room. She went on to say that when it came to hookups and the band and the crew was like an office, as she joked. Everyone ends up either falling out or sleeping together or both. Everyone knows everybody's stuff. It's just how it is. I mean, that is definitely some insider tea that this hairstylist has spilled. That is some insider tea. It seems like obviously she's no longer affiliated with One Direction, which is why she's, I mean, well, One Direction's not a band anymore. And they, no. and they teased us with a reunion, but we never got that reunion. So I think that she's good to kind of say this yeah. information. And I think this happens a lot in the workplace. A lot of times in restaurants, people end up sleeping with each other and it just becomes a mess. Um, I can assure you that does not happen at Hollywire. No, Me and Gabby are very platonic. Um, so, but Lou claims that they Things never got sexual in, in, in any way between her and the band members, not only because she's older than them, but also because she wanted to keep things on, quote, a friendship level, but she still would, would get involved when things got heated between the boys. As she said, since she was their hairdresser, the boys would often come to her and air their grievances. As she said, that's what hairdressers are for, isn't it? Like, we're the therapists, right? I mean, I tell my barber and my hairdresser everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. My hairdresser knows way too much way too about much. my personal life. So um, this makes sense that they would spill all the tea to this hairdresser. So Lou also cleared up the rumor that Harry and Lewis were once romantic, which she says still haunts her to this day. As she explained, to be honest, I have millions of girls who still ask me about Lewis and Harry being gay. She says she has no idea where the speculation started, but it grew into a huge thing among One Direction fans. She explained what a Larry Styleson stan as it's someone who buys into the conspiracy theory that they were a couple and everything else has been set up to cover up Harry and Lewis' potential relationships. As she added, honestly, it's crazy like the things that they come up with. Well, also like the whole thing, you should never call someone out like you should trust people to say their own thing and to say their own sexuality and not just assume things um, but guys we want to hear from you what do you think about this one direction tea that was just spilled let us know your thoughts i'm gabby conti and i'm zach weinberg and follow us at hollywire for your 24 7 celebrity news